So here's another crazy story about the crazy world that we're living in right now. Bette Midler, all right? She's a favorite diva of many gay men, and she got her start singing in bathhouses, folks. So recently she tweeted her anger at gender-inclusive language, saying, quote, women of the world, we are being stripped of our rights over our bodies, our lives, and even our name. They don't call us women anymore. They call us birthing people or menstruators, and even people with vaginas. Don't let them erase you. Every human on earth owes you, end quote. Kiki number three, I love Ben Midler, and I don't know how I feel about this all. We are all still learning as we go, I think. What are we all talking about? You told me that you had seen this. You, you saw yes. the tweet or whatever. What do yeah. you think? So I think it is monumentally ignorant and incredibly stupid for her to lash out at the community that created her. Mm. Especially right before she's about to drop like Hocus Pocus 2 and like come out with a new, which is for the LGBTQ community because who do you know that watches Hocus Pocus every Halloween? It's us. not, it's kids and us and fucking queers like us yep. that are sitting there watching Hocus Pocus and going to drag shows where people are dressing up, dressing like up as the Hocus Pocus characters. Your movie's it's right true. about to come out. Let's make some enemies of the LGBTQ plus community. You know what, Damien? I just don't, I. I'm giving her the benefit of the doubt here. You know, like we're all learning as we go when it comes to um, our acronym, LGBTQIA+. You know, I, I, a couple of years ago, I was so blessed to learn about two-spirited folks. Mm -hmm. I didn't know about that before, you know? So I give us the benefit of the doubt to stay educated, to continue to evolve, to be respectful to others, you know? Um, you know, we all had to, we learned about they, them. We learned about, oh, this week is also, um, what was it? Non-binary awareness week, yes. right? Yeah, this week is also non-binary uh, awareness week. So hello to everyone that's non-binary. Uh, we had to learn about that, you know? And education is power. Education is key, especially within our community. So then we have someone like Ben Midler that we love and adore and that we've supported and that we've made her relevant, great still, etc. And then she says something like this. I have to say that she just wasn't educated, didn't, didn't ask the homos that she has around her. You know, um, I, 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 I want to give her the benefit of the doubt. Thing, I man. don't. And I'll tell you why. Please. Because I feel like when you are at the level that Bette Midler is at, you have no excuse to not be educated towards these issues. Mm -hmm. I feel like you are surrounded by a PR team. You are surrounded by people who will happily educate you so you don't make an asshole out of yourself. Yeah. Like she did, you know? So what's your excuse? It's either you're willfully choosing to be ignorant or you are being... It's an a, a intentional attack. The, those are the two things at that point. So it's like, how much of how much of a pass are we going to give this person? Okay, when, but okay, but look at look at Disney. All right, look at all the money that they have. And when don't say, when don't say gay was brought out, and they were able to help us and support us and have our backs, they stayed completely quiet. And mm -hmm. they had all the right people around them now, and we seem to be okay with Disney now. Yeah, I, I mean it sucks. It, it, it sucks. I'm not, you know, there's, you can't compare Bad Miller to Disney, but you guys understand what I'm saying, you know? But, but then Disney, Disney did refuse to remove the gay scene from that one movie, like a, where the girl had lesbian parents. Oh, yeah. Uh, Buzz Lightyear. Yeah. So they did. I mean. So they're, but again, but they're learning as they go. Let's give, they go. let's give Bad Miller a pass. Again, there hasn't been a retraction yet. She hasn't apologized for it yet. So maybe I'm just dumb and you're right. And maybe we just, I don't watch beaches anymore. <laughs> but it's like, girl, you're the you wind started... beneath my wings. <laughs> Bat. You started in a you started in a back house with Barry Manilow, who's the biggest gay like ever on the planet. I'm, I'm gonna get canceled. Allegedly, 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 he's the biggest <laughs> gay on the planet. Allegedly. Like, so this is where you started. Here's where you are. Yeah. And you're gonna come for trans people. Yeah, we expected more. Yeah, of you. we expected really that. I think that's what it is. I think that we're disappointed. I don't. I, yeah, I, I think that's what it is. I'm disappointed in her because I thought she was one of our great allies. I had her up there with Cindy Lauper. Yeah. Cindy Lauper turns around tomorrow and says, "Screw you all, LGBT." I'd be like, <gasps> "Yeah, like a dagger to the heart." <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah. So let's give her some time and let's hope for the best. All right. Do better. Do better, girl, or or the boys that you have around you. Do better because again, that is also another thing. She's surrounded by gay boys. I doubt that she's surrounded by surrounded by. Trans Trans men or surrounded by lesbians or women. I, I doubt that she's surrounded by people that can get pregnant. And I think that that's the deal also.
All right, so find a lesbian, call me. I got your back. So did you enjoy the show? I know you did. So make sure to click subscribe so you won't miss any of the events, news or interviews right here on the Faye What Show. Ring the bell at the bottom of the screen right there so you'll be alerted every time we're live. You can also click on the Happening Out Television Network logo so you can see all of the shows on the most diverse LGBTQ plus media network. Find out just what we're doing to bring the L and the G together right here on the Faye What Show. Get the week started with me.